So hi guys and welcome back. What we will take a look here today is the Runcam product and in this case it's the Runcam All. So this is a night vision camera, well at least it's a camera for flying in the night because as you can see it has a light sensitivity of 0 0.0001 lux which is really nice. I got the PAL version of this camera and well at night it goes to black and white and during day it will give you a color but it is really meant for night flying so let's take a look what we have in here so let's see what we have here it's a really nice manual i will simply hold it into the camera here you can see this the camera itself has an input of 3.3 volts but it comes with an adapter cable which has a little voltage regulator uh, included which allows you to actually apply 5 to 17 volts so you can choose if you don't want to use this this regulator which is really small you will see it in a second you have to power it directly with 3.3 volts otherwise you can go well, from two to three cells, four cells, easily to, to power this. Some more specs here. So this is the run cam all, as you can see. And yeah, for the other specs, I will just let you read it. Just press stop now and you can read it yourself there. It also gives the dimensions and everything, which we will take a look at. ourselves what do you have here okay it's your warranty card and support card but this is also nice and your warranty policy so this is really nice because it gives you some kind of, of prof professionalism right so this is cool what we have here also is a little adapter cable which will let you directly connect your run cam to one of these huge uh, chinch connectors i don't know why anyone would do that but it's nice to have such an adapter cable just for testing purposes and then here we have the run cam itself which is pretty small so this is really nice it's a pretty small camera we will take a look at the dimensions in a second and it also says on the back, yeah, that's your run cam all. Uh, uh, goes from color to black and white, depending on the light. Uh, it uses a white power input of 5 to 17 volts. Not if you directly connect it, but only if you use this little cable, which has this voltage regulator here inside the cable, as you can see. So this is really small, so it's fine. So what we will do now, of course, take a look at the lens. This is really nice because you can already see this is a lens which is meant to be about a bit more light sensitive. This is nice. And next we will take a look at the size of this. So this is relevant for you guys who want to mount it in your night flyers. So as you can see, that's 19 millimeters here. And also about the same, about 19 millimeters in height. And here we have a length of 28 millimeters, including this plug. It will go more like, will be more like 31, 32 millimeters. So this will give you a good idea uh, of where and how to mount this camera. Uh, I will, of course, I'm really looking forward to this. I will take one of my small multicopters, mount it in there and make it a pure night flyer. This should be just awesome. Uh, I don't know which one I will take. Let's take a look here. Because I have several actually to choose from. So maybe I will, I will go with this little Diatone Spatcher 150. Let's see if this will fit. Yeah, this, this does actually fit. As you can see, it's a tight fit. <laughs> but it, wow, come here, little guy. So, as I said, 
it's a bit of a tight fit but it will fit let's take this off here so it's a bit of a tight fit but it will fit even if you mount it with a bit of an angle here I'm just trying to give you a good picture so there is actually plenty of space to mount this maybe with some double sided tape or something so basically that looks really nice and it would be so awesome <laughs> to just have so this little oh, even actually goes out here it would just be what I wanted to say is it would be awesome to have you know a little night flyer in that 150 size uh, to just cruise around a bit <laughs> at night so this should be nice it's something new you know so what we uh, didn't try out yet is of course uh, what we didn't measure yet is the weight of this which we will do now so this comes the weight of 13 grams, 12 grams, including this little cable, this little voltage regulator cable, which is not too bad, 12 grams. Let's put the cable away. Without the cable, we are at 10 grams, which means for all your clever mass guys out there, this cable comes at 2 grams. So, yeah, I will probably just use the cable because at 2 grams it all adds almost nothing and it's nice to directly power that from your LiPo. So this concludes this short unboxing review of the Runcam OL. Uh, what I'm really looking forward to is to try this out at night. I will do so as soon as possible, which will of course result in another video. I have already bought something here to try this out. Let me see if I can quickly find it. Yeah, there it is. So these are some IR infrared LEDs, which I bought for <laughs> almost nothing from Banggood. And this will be, of course, very nice because that means you could also do some. Let's do a bit luck away here. Uh, you can do make a, a, an active IR lighting quad, and maybe let's just see. I haven't tried it yet. This will actually. This is actually really nice because with a bit of work, this will fit right in here. So you will just need a bit of a love, a bit of love. Uh, so I, I won't do it here. You can probably just unscrew the lens here, uh, move that through the hole here in the middle, and then this will be actually be a perfect fit for this run cam and mount it like that with active IR lighting. Lighting. This, this, this should be awesome. So I have to try this out. This will be a future video. If you are looking forward to this video, I know I am, <laughs> then please leave a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I am looking forward to see you next time.